gardening friends. I'm Caitlin Miller and I'm from Miller Flowers here in Greenville, Ohio. We are a greenhouse garden center and florist and today for my five minutes or less or a little more um, I'm going to share with you about how to create a Christmas bow. So we get a lot of questions over our workshops and when we're doing wreaths and when we're making porch pots, how do I make one of those florist bows? And so I'm going to show you the way that I was taught at Floral Design School. So my bow making, I just wanted to let you know that I am right-handed. So if you are left-handed, you might want to do it the opposite of me, um, but the still the same of how to create the um, bow is the same way for left or right-handed people. So we're going to be creating a bow like this right Right here but using thing number nine ribbon great places like Hobby Lobby Joanne fabrics even Walmart carries ribbon um, you can pick up some ribbon you need some nice sharp scissors and then you need some nice um, thick wire also use the 24 gauge and the 22 gauge wire um, it's a nice thickness to it for our bows as well so wire ribbon and scissors let's begin so you want to cut your ribbon I would say I say about three to four yards of ribbon and I kind of measure it using um, I gauge it I look at it some actually use a ruler or a tape measure which that actually is a little bit more helpful you get the exact measurement especially if you have a roll of ribbon where you need a certain amount of bows out of that ribbon so you're gonna grab your ribbon you're gonna cut that off with your nice trusty pair of scissors and then we are going to begin so a little closer to the camera because I would like to show you how we actually do this and it's a little easier. Don't mind my colorful outfit. I thought it looked like Christmas, but in reality, it's actually just layering because greenhouse season is kind of chilly this time of year. So we got our cut ribbon and let us begin. We are going to start with the tail forward and this is a kind of a much uh, how much of a tail I want to leave on my bow. So I'm gonna put that towards myself. I'm going to start with the first twist. We're basically going to be twisting and making loops the entire time. So with that tail towards me, I'm going to twist it and it is going to make my first bunny ear or my first loop. And right there is where my, my thumb is holding that twist. My next finger underneath of it is holding that loop together. And then I have a finger under here. My um, third finger is holding that loop. And then we're going to twist again make another loop and then it's going again and underneath my hand so my hand looks like this the entire time make another loop make another loop so you're going to be constantly making loops and twisting the <laughs> entire time and I always start out with some smaller loops at the beginning and then just keep making them bigger each time I go and then leaving that as a tail um, you can always count your loops and make sure that you have the right amount of loops on each side. Next, you're going to be taking a wire. You're going to take a wire and you're going to go underneath your thumb. And then you're going to be twisting it like this right here. Make sure you twist super tight or your bow will come unraveled. So after you're done twisting it, you can start fluffing your bow as well. And it's always uh, good when you fluff your bow to fluff it towards you. This right here. And that is what your bow looks like when you are done. So that is how you create one of the florist bows or how I was taught at design school to create a florist bow. So I know that there is various um, different ways of creating bows. Um, this is the way that I have been taught and found the most easiest. Um, but that is how you create one. So that has been my five minutes or less with Caitlin Miller from Miller Flowers.